Hey folks, today is December the 22nd. It's currently 9.48 in the morning. Getting a bit of a late start as I was trying to uh, watch the webinar for the correlation indicator. But I have been scrolling through the charts here. We haven't really had a setup. As you can see here on this trade, I've been watching this, but no trade. We don't have the either of the two uh, higher time frames of red. Right here, I've been waiting on Again, uh, two of the higher time frames to turn red, and also we need the cloud and also these two indicators to turn red as well. So basically at this point, there have been no setups. There are a few things I want to go over this morning here. I've had a couple emails from people asking me about the uh, performance of the system. So I think I need to clarify a few things to you guys so that you understand the process that I go through when I uh, do a review here. But before we get into that, let's just go through this so you guys can see. Same thing here. We need a lot of red before we can take this trade. All right, so the first thing I want to touch on today is the correlation indicator. This is what they uh, released yesterday, I believe. I did just go through the uh, webinar, and as you guys can see here, this is what it is. The GBP USD is the indicator that we see here in red. The Euro USD is the indicator we see here. Excuse me, not the indicator. Um, I should say the price pattern for the currency pair is what we see in black for Euro USD and red is GBP USD. And if we come in here to indicators, we can actually change that here. So right now, we could set it up to GBP Japanese Yen. And what it's gonna do is, give it a second here, it's going to uh, plot that on the chart. And there it is. Just want you guys to have an idea how that works. I personally don't plan on uh, using this that much. But this just gives you an idea of uh, the indicator that was uh, given out to us this weekend. They also did give us some information on how it can help with our trading but I don't think I'm proficient enough with that to uh, give you guys that information, but it all is there in the back office. Or I should say it's all there in the back office, okay? All right. And as always, EuroCAD, USDCAD, we can take a look at those two. As you can see here, our supply and demand zones are continuing to be helpful to us. Market came up to that here. And the market uh, is reacting to it. And we definitely do have a yellow signal dot, or excuse me, a yellow swing dot, and a white signal dot. And it's only uh, two uh, bars in between there. So that definitely does qualify for us. Right now, we just need the cloud to turn red. We need one more higher time frame red. And we need everything down here to turn red. But this does look like it might be a good spot to take a short trade if we can get one. Our next level of support is uh, way down here. So we're looking good on that front. That's why I'm uh, keeping an eye on this trade. All right. Also got another update on alerts. It looks like uh, the vendor said they're gonna be coming after the new year. And basically alerts is just gonna give us an audible tone or hopefully an uh, email or a text to us so that we, we don't have to uh, continue to watch the charts all day or even for the hour that the vendor states he watches the charts, which is uh, during the start of the New York session. And I believe he uh, said he checks it at the start of the London session as well. All right, next thing is, let me see here, let me pull up my notes really quick, folks. All right, so at this point right now in the testing, I'm just trying to focus on learning how to take proper trades. As you guys have seen in a previous video, some of the trades that I've taken have not conformed to what the system uh, tells us we should be looking for. One of the trades I took, the very first trade, 
was in a sideways market, and that was a loss. Another trade that I took recently, I uh, took the trade where the dots were in the wrong spot. Basically, I think I mentioned that in the previous video, but um, I had the white dot, but the yellow dot was down here when it should have been up top for a short trade. So that was another mistake that I took, and that was a loss. So a lot of the losses that I've taken at this point have been because I'm still learning the process of how this system works. Not to mention the fact that something that I haven't mentioned yet is that this is Christmas week. Guys, Christmas Eve is two days away, literally. So at this point right now, we expect things to be a little wonky in the market. Um, and most likely things won't go back to normal until after New Year's. So like I said, right now, I'm just trying to get the hang of how to spot uh, correct entries. So you guys are going to see some interesting things. You guys have also seen me make a lot of mistakes. And the point of what I'm doing right now is that a lot of people that buy this system and get started, they're going to be making the same mistakes I'm making. So it's my hope that by showing you guys the solutions to those mistakes and by showing you or letting you see me make those mistakes, you won't have to you won't have to make those same errors when you guys get started. Because the truth is, I could wait until I got the whole picture, but then a lot of what I would consider little gems would be lost. You know, you guys wouldn't be able to see a lot of the things that I'm doing to learn how to perfect, you know, trading with this system. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. Yes, we are going to take some losses, but the reason is I'm still learning. You know, I'm, I'm not where I should be right now. And they've actually only... Uh, given us two or three of the indicators that are being released on a weekly basis. Um, we also haven't got Signal X, which is something that's going to be talked about next week, I believe, in a webinar. So there are a lot of things that are still going to need to be, uh, I should say, a lot of things that are still going to need to come together before we have a complete picture, you know, to start trading this system. So make sure you guys keep that in mind as we go forward. Eventually, I will get the hang of everything and you know, like with anything new, you know, it's just going to take time and we just have to be a little patient so that we can get our hands on, you know, some of the other things like Signal X and the Audible Alerts that are supposed to really help us out with this. And also, you know, it's going to take time to um, learn how to spot the exact trades that we should be taking with this system. OK, that's uh, seven minutes. And hopefully at this point that answers some of the questions you guys have had on things that have happened up to this point. And again, I could just stop trading right now until after uh, New Year's, but I'm just going to continue playing around with it. Um, if you guys don't want to see those videos, if you'd rather me, you know, get the hang of things between now and New Year's, um, just let me know. Give me a update in the comments section if you guys would rather just, you know, wait until I actually get a hang of it, get the hang of everything, or if you guys do want to continue to see the uh, trades that I take while I'm learning everything. Just let me know in the comments section. All right, let me go ahead and pause it, and I'll come back to you guys once we have our first setup. All right, guys, just another quick update here. As you can see, we have uh, green, green, green. We have our uh, signal and swing dots right here. Green cloud. We're just waiting on one of our higher time frames to turn green as well. Over here on the GBP USD, you can see all three of the higher time frames are red. Both of these indicators are red. Same thing here. Everything is set up for a short trade. The cloud is red. Only problem I see with this trade is that the market is moving uh, really sideways right now for the GBP USD. So I wouldn't want to take this trade just for it to, you know, go down a few pips and then bounce back up and to keep going sideways. Going forward here, I'm going to try to be a, a bit more picky about the trades that I take. All right, I'll pause it and I'll come back. Hopefully we'll get a good setup today. It's already 10.43. I continue to watch the markets until uh, 12 o'clock and then I have to move on and do some other stuff for my day. All right, be back momentarily. All right, folks, just a quick update. This is that GBP USD trade I was looking at. As you guys can see, right here we got all reds, all reds, got the red cloud, got our swinging signal dots right above us. 
And as you can see, this trade would have been profitable. Would have had a stop right here, and the market just kept on pushing down. And again, sometimes the market will go sideways and then break out. The problem is you don't know when the market is going to break out. That's the main issue with these types of uh, trades. In this situation, we would have uh, been lucky in that we would have been able to catch this trade exactly when the market broke out from that level. And at this point, I haven't seen any other trades worth taking. I'm still waiting on this NZD Japanese yen trade. I like it to break down uh, beneath this level here at least. But as you guys can see, we have red, red, signal and swing dots here. All we really need is the cloud to turn red. And there is the cloud turning red. But again, same situation. If you were to enter right here, this would be uh, your setup. As you can see, the market has come down here and bounced off of this, and it's just been going sideways. So this is not an ideal place to uh, take a trade. And they talk about that in the system as well. You'll get lucky sometimes, but overall, it's not a good trade to take, a good setup in the sideways market. Again, what I really want to see right now is to get a break to the short side. And then maybe a pullback. Do a quick run through here so we can take a look at any other potential opportunities. We are getting close to Christmas, so tomorrow's Friday. We most likely won't get any uh, trading done tomorrow. And then going into next week, the day after Christmas, obviously, probably won't uh, do much trading then either. So it looks like New Year's or after New Year's is probably going to be when we really get back into the swing of things. Just gives us time to enjoy the holidays since the market's going to be uh, moving slow anyway. All right, so this is where we stand right now. Like I said, down here you can see red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red. And that's basically uh, translating into a really sideways market with a lot of wicks, you can see. But we'll watch it and see what happens. All right, be back with you guys momentarily. All right, folks, it is now 12 o'clock. I was going through the uh, members area, and I saw that the vendor just uh, added the timer indicator. So I went ahead and uploaded that here. Let's see if we can take a look at it real quick. Right upper chart corner, text color white, that's fine. All right, very nice. Basically, what this is going to do is going to uh, let us know when the current bar is coming to an end. All right, here's that trade we were watching, waiting to see if it was going to uh, push down and hit that potential profit level. At this point, as you can see, it started to uh, go sideways again. CAD Japanese Yen was another potential setup I saw. We got the two higher time frames as red. We had, what is this here? The white signal dot, yellow swing dot, swing point. They're within uh, four bars away from each other. So I was waiting for a short to uh, develop here. We would need for this to turn red, this to turn red, and we need for the cloud to turn over and become red as well, but that didn't happen. And here we were looking for a long setup. All right, so we have all three higher time frames green. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. And down here we just have one bar just turned green. We would need for this to uh, the RSI to dip back above zero and turn green, and we would need for the cloud to turn green here. 
as you guys can see here, we have yellow swing dot, green signal dot within four bars away from each other. Unfortunately, we didn't get uh, the signal to enter the trade. And I was trying to give this some time to uh, develop, but it just hasn't happened yet. So I think that's going to uh, just be it for today. This is something you guys are going to be getting as well with the system. Like I say, he just released this today. It's a countdown timer here. Uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to touch on before I shut this uh, video down. As I stated earlier, most likely until uh, New Year's, things are going to be really slow with the market. So I probably won't be uh, putting out too much except for uh, some of the Friday updates. Let's just do a quick uh, peek through some of these other pairs here. This trade right here obviously has the highest potential of uh, turning into something, but like I said, we're at lunchtime now and things are most likely going to slow down. So. It is what it is. If you guys have any questions on this uh, system, definitely shoot them my way. And I'll see you guys after the holidays. You guys, I hope you guys have a great uh, holiday and take care of folks.